Welcome to Race Face TV in this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. We're going to start off at Iowa Speedway where we find three of the Race Face drivers all competing in the NASCAR Can In Pro Series in the Casey General Store 150. Let's start off with Anthony Alfredo. Now, I'm not superstitious, but in Iowa, they call this a blood red moon. And legend has it that when it appears, strange things start to happen. And that's exactly what it started off for Anthony during practice. After running a few laps, he came in for some small adjustments and was sitting on pit row ready to take the track for some more practice laps when the car burst into flames and damaged the car beyond repairs. With limited practice in the backup car, they still managed a fifth place qualifying run and ended up starting third due to a couple of cars being sent to the back for post qualifying infractions. Running in the top five for most of the race. Now this race was run in three segments with a five minute break at lap 50 and then again on lap 100. Anthony stayed out as many of the cars did on the 50 lap break to maintain track position. Little did they know that that decision would come back to haunt them as they ran out of gas on lap 99, one lap short of the 100 lap break. Now this caused Anthony to restart the last segments four laps down. Now you would think that that's all of the weird things that could happen to a driver. But on lap 120, Anthony was involved in a crash that ended his night finishing in 22nd position. Anthony remains fourth in points, heading to Watkins Glen International for the second road course race of the season on Friday. Ryan Vargas also had a strange race, but we'll get to that in a couple of minutes. Ryan qualified 10th and ran in the top 15 all day. They made the call at lap 50 break to stay out for track position, as did a lot of cars. The car really came to Ryan in segment two, and he ran through the field, passing cars on the left and the right, and was running sixth at the end of the second segment. He restarted fourth and ran as high as third. Coming out of turn two, he hit a tailpipe that fell off of another car, which busted a hole in the nose and the hood making his car incredibly tight. From that point on, Ryan had to fight for every spot and held on to a seventh place finish overall and fifth in the East. Ryan remains fifth in points headed into this weekend's race at the Glen as well. Sam Mayer was also at Iowa Speedway for only his second NASCAR k and race in the number 27 Titan Ford racing for Jefferson Pitts Racing. It was an up and down day for the young 15 year old. Sam qualified 14th, but had to start off at the tail end of the field because they did not pass post-qualifying inspection. Sam moved up throughout the race before getting into the wall in turn two and had to make a green flag pit stop that put him several laps down, resulting in a 17th place finish. Now Sam flew back to Charlotte early Saturday morning to compete in the twin lap 40 NASCAR Wheeling All-American Series late model races at Hickory Motor Speedway. Sam dominated the first 40 lap race, starting on the pole and leading every lap for his first win in that series in his number nine Menards Junior Motorsports late model. Now on to the second lap event. The rule is the top 10 placing cars in race one would be inverted for the start, putting Sam in a 10th position starting spot. A rain delay pushed the start of the second race back as well, but eventually the green flag dropped. Sam was on the move at the start of the second feature, but had some trouble in traffic. Racing in the middle of a three wide on lap 11, the car to his outside slapped the wall and came down the track, hooking the rear of Sam Chevrolet and turning him into the outside wall. The damage was enough to end the race and he would wound up eighth at the finish. Next up for the Junior Motorsports team in the Cars Late Model Stock Car Series is the Throwback 276 at Hickory on August 4th, where Sam will run the iconic Gray Ghost paint scheme 
made famous by Rainier Racing's Buddy Baker, where he took that car to victory lane in the 1980 Daytona 500. But Sam's week of racing was not over, as he headed to Charlotte Motor Speedway for racing on Monday and Tuesday night in the final two races of the Bojangles Summer Shootout. On Monday night, Sam took his number 22 Farbo Motorsports Pro Legend car to victory lane for the fourth time of the year. On Tuesday, again, because of the invert, Sam had to start in the eighth position, but with a different race strategy, just running the top five, and that's exactly what he did, bringing home a fourth place finish and winning the Pro Legend car Bojangles Summer Shootout Championship. Now that's a lot of racing, but wait, there's more. Sam will compete for MDM Motorsports this weekend in the number 41 Menards Toyota and the NASCAR k and Pro Series East at the Glen on Friday. Now that's a lot of racing for a young 15 year old. Sheldon Creed was at Pocono Raceway for the Mod Space 150 on Friday. Sheldon qualified six in his number 28 United Reynolds Toyota and ran in the top three all day and was battling teammate Zane Smith before the reins moved in and ended the race. Sheldon finished second to teammate Zane Smith and Sheldon also clinched the ARCA Racing Series Super Speedway Challenge Championship. Now that's a championship within the main ARCA Championship for all of the tracks one mile or more. It's extra special because the first winner of that championship was Davey Allison, one of Sheldon's idols. We'll go out west now where we find drivers Jesse Love and Adam Lemke. They both were at Madeira Speedway on Saturday. So let's start off with Jesse Love who went into round five of the 5150 Junior Late Model Series as the series points leader. Jesse qualified second but started on the pole due to the pill draw. But his night was cut short when the clutch failed early in the race, ending his night. Up next for Jesse, spec sprint cars at Placerville Speedway on August the 11th. Race face driver Adam Linke was back in the RPM Mortgage Pro Late Model Series in his number 98 off-axis paint Nate Clower Late Model, where he qualified eighth and then brought home a fourth place finish his fourth top 10 in a row, including three fourth place finishes. Up next for Adam, USAC Western Midgets on the dirt at Ventura Raceway tonight. We only had one of our race face next drivers in action this weekend, and that was Joe Valento. But he started the weekend off by coming to Iowa Speedway to support all of the race face drivers and got a great insight on where he wants to be in the next few years. Then on Saturday, he was at Thunder Hill Raceway in Minimomi, Wisconsin for the first time in his 03 Smiley's Micro Sprint, where he finished fifth in his heat race, started 10th in the A main, and brought home an impressive third place finish. Well, that's it for this week's driver updates. Make sure to catch up on any shows that you might have missed at raceface.tv on demand. We are also excited to announce that we offer Dale Jr. Download from Dirty Mo Media. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities, and we'll see you back here next week with more driver updates from your favorite race face drivers.